There we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ord. That's O R D. Welcome to game numero four of NAU versus Cal Poly Pomona. Let's hop on into the game and get those introductions done. In the lower left hand corner of our screen, we see in the blue the Terran for Cal Poly Pomona's Broncos. It is OG's Spiffy. And. His opponent in the upper right-hand corner, desperate to regain the momentum for his team, our Green Terran in this Untombed Valley map, it is Tom Yorkie. Just Tom York, but yeah, Tom Yorkie. And it definitely does look like the timer can be seen. I covered it up in those early games. Apologies, apologies, a thousand times apologies. So we're going to update the fact that the score is... Ba -ba -ba -ba. One, two, two, and you know what that means? That this is not the ace match. In fact, we could even the series up. And like I said at the end of the last game, this is the first. That was the first time I've seen Northern Arizona versus uh, Arizona, Northern Arizona University lose in the playoffs. They've actually 4 0 swept both of their other opponents in the playoffs. So. This is fun indeed to watch. Let's get that sound enabled. Where did it go? There we are. So, thus far, we have a refinery following quickly with the racks for OG's Spiffy. Can we say Reaper? I can. I want that Reaper. I want to see the Reaper. The Reaper. Meanwhile, Tom York, who with the little uh, Supply Depot block, also going with the refinery himself. Exciting. Ooh, looks like OG Spiffy is going to miss Scout. Ah, oh, but so is Tom York. They are playing on the latter edition of the map, so, you know, this is perfectly acceptable. It's not that they don't know anything. It's that. Collegiate Star League decided ladder edition and therefore can spawn anywhere. On a TVT, it doesn't necessarily matter as much uh, in a cross matchup, say TVZ, that would be highly important. As drops would be amazing. There's already a Marine out, so this SCV for OG Spiffy, which is going to arrive. First, maybe our first death of the game. Tom York is prepared with that micro. That micro. Oh, it gets up the ramp to scout that. The Rax was there, however. There could be the exact same situation happening at the bottom. Tom York tries to pull away, but he doesn't expect the second Marine to be there. He does scout the fact that, you know, there's no command center on the low ground just yet. But seeing two Marines probably tipped him off to that as well. Ooh, the factory going down right next to the reactor. Oh, geez, Piffy going with some Hellion play, I believe. Hellion play. Do I still have Transylvanian Orchestra going in my head in between games. I've been playing some of that. Tom York going with the command center behind a factory of his own, but there is no reactor just yet, so I'm imagining it's going to be Siege Tank. It's going to be a bit of a defensive play out of Tom York. Meanwhile, Spiffy is probably with these Hellions going to try and control the map. Ooh, actually, a little bit of a weird timing here, and no, never mind. The factory was not intended to hop onto the reactor, at least at first. I don't know. Is he going to make another Hellion, or is he going to lift it off in position? No, he's going to make another Hellion. Interesting. Interesting indeed. This is going to be a 1-1-1. One, one, one. I definitely thought it was going to be character Hellions. So we've got a 1-1-1 one, one, one that's going to be Marine Heavy pushing forward. It could be just Marine Hellion with a Metafac? Yeah, maybe Marine poke at the front and a drop of Hellions on the side, but a little bit of Hellion action out of Tom York. As well, I like to see that he's going to use its speed to his advantage as he's got a reactor of his own down. Uh, could very potentially be doing the same exact play, but behind it, he's putting down a command center. Meanwhile, OG Spiffy playing more for the short term at the moment. Yep, there's the medevac, and it's rallied to the Marines. We still have more Hellions on the way. Tom York did push back the Hellions of Spiffy, but here they come again. Ooh, Tom York had a chance to run away, but he's got a little bit of miscontrol out of him there. And pulls his SCV back up to the high ground. He's going to go ahead and warp, uh, change his command center into an orbital command on the high ground. That's very safe. I like it a lot. Especially in a TVT where this kind of thing is definitely possible. OG Spiffy moving up the map. And be quiet, phone. You're supposed to be on silent. How dare you? Spiffy checking. 
making sure that the base is not yet down and the Marines have arrived. What we have going on back home, there's a medevac for Tom York as well. So this is, in essence, the same army going over the same army. High ground should mean a lot right now. And it looks like it is as the Hellion control of the Tom York is superior. Oh, those poor Marines. Oh, those poor, poor Marines. They want to get in that medevac, but they... Oh, one of them does! Oh, God! But the Marines... The Marines... They wish they had stim right now. They're licking their lips, but they're not going to catch it. The Hellions actually could move forward and catch some more Marines. But Tom York decisively pushing that attack away while he expands behind it. You gotta love it when people follow Day 9's advice. I expand while I attack now, but also I expand after I defend an attack. That is something else that he says. Uh, and I bring him up because Tom York... <laughs> no, that was not Tom. That was Coldplay. Uh, was having all of the NAU players revisit Day 9 Daily number 252 as the Hellions move forward a little bit unnecessarily there's a Viking to take out the medevac it does indeed but there are too many Marines right now the micro forward out of OG Spivy with the SCVs tanking and I don't I don't like that out of Tom York he did not need that engagement at all not one little bit and there's a Banshee there's, there's two Marines attacked against the Banshee Oh, this Banshee is just going to have it today. Today. Oh. Already has three kills. There are more Marines finally out. But, probably with Micro Banshee can kill the Marines all day long. Oh, very close. 20 life, though. As soon as another Marine pops out, yeah, this Banshee's dead. But well, it definitely does get several kills. Tom York finally pulling back with some of his own forces. And hey, guess what he was doing? Making a Banshee of his own. Aren't mere matchups fun? Yes, they are. Banshee passes Banshee. <laughs> Tom York without cloak and OG Spiffy without cloak as well as some Hellions push forward from Spiffy. Oh, this Banshee, nice, finds the command center building SCV and actually pops the engineering bay building and the refinery building SCV. Oh, that's just annoying right here for OG Spiffy. He's going to have to spend some extra APM to make sure that he resumes those things. Well, the Marines do move into position, though. Oh, the Banshee trapped against the wall, nowhere to go. Oh, a little bit of over-eagerness out of Tom York, but he did get to see every single choice. That his opponent is making. OG Spiffy finally arriving with a Banshee of his own. And licks his lips to find that, hey, there's some mules to be killed. Oh, attacking the refinery. No, these could be SCVs that you're killing. Bad Banshee, no donut. And he's going to oh, be a little overly aggressive and not quite get a second one. Missile turret is going to go down out of Tom York, who uh, burned me once. Shame on you. Burned me twice. Shame on me. Uh, I'm not sure that I love the investment there, a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. He's done a double engineering bay in the third command center. He's not quite making use of any of that just yet. I'm sure he will in just a moment yet. The, ooh, the rocks. I was like, well, who's, who's under attack? Stim going down, interestingly, we're at the 1150 mark, and yet Stim is still pretty darn close for both of these players. The command center, the third one, that is finally being resumed by OG Spiffy. Let's open up that Reaper list and see that nine workers have been killed by Tom York, only six by OG Spiffy, but that's fairly even overall, really. The Banshee trying to poke back in is pushed away again. How many kills does she have? She only has two. She's a silly one. But Map Vision does belong to OG's Spiffy right now, and honestly, this is looking pretty darn even, except that Tom York is supply blocked but has over a thousand in his bank. He's up by 15 supplies, a little bit ahead with his stim, so even as I say, even really Tom York is ahead, but he's not capitalizing on that uh, all that much, except to take his third, but he's going to take his third anyway. Really right now is perhaps the chance to push out and try some drop play, or perhaps try to set up that fourth, or maybe, I don't know, something crazy like transition into mech. The rocks are actually still up. Ooh. Ooh. If Tom York had been forward on the map, he would have known that, but... Spiffy's going to clean those up long before anything ever happens. Some random Marines out of Tom York trying to pick off some Banshees forward on the map. There is going to be a Medivac. Oh, but the uh, I'm Banshee and the Hellions killing off 
the Marines. I don't know, though. OG Spiffy not moving at all, not reacting, not positioning his army. It doesn't look like he actually caught sight on the minimap of that medevac. It's taking a very securitous route, though, so it's going to be a while. Heck, he can start a missile turret right now and perhaps deny it. But back home, Tom York, oh, my goodness, has so many things in the production tab right now. Finally able to spend some of his money. Uh, and, oh, this drop... Oh, I, I don't hope. I hope he doesn't do it here. I hope he does it down here. Take longer for Spiffy to respond. It looks like Tom York may have forgotten about it as he lays down a sensor tower, protecting himself. There was a drop moving forward out of Spiffy as well, but instead he just decides to unload and move a marine forward to double check that in fact yes, that base is down. Also, probably wants to bait out some <laughs> tank shots, and he dies. That's very badly. Dom York moving in. All dropping under the tree. That's always fun. So we're going to stim in here and see what damage he can do. Oh, does have nice timing there. Actually, probably could have killed the command center if he focused that down. But instead, kills some marines. Uh, nice, nice stutter step there. Kills more SEVs than perhaps he should have been allowed. But Spiffy does clean it up in the end. This command center has already been delayed by almost 30 seconds as a new SEV has yet to resume. There it goes. So, I mean, that's a little bit of a win out of Tom York, who decides, you know what, I don't need that fourth base. I do have that command center on the way, but who needs it anyway? I'm going to move forward and lose nothing as I kill three Hellions. And so we still have this drop force from OG Spiffy that's waiting to move in, and it actually only has... Well, it does have a ring of missile turrets in its way, but oh my goodness, Tom York with 185 supply with 130 supply. Stims in right now, not even sieging his tanks, says he doesn't need to, gets that nice concave down, sacrifices his marines as his tanks finally do siege up, and then pulls back. Nice control there, scan forward, and Tom York with some marines coming up from behind. If he can scan onto the high ground and see just how little spiff he has left, He's going to push forward and win this game. Oh, Marines trying to come in from behind. Ah, uh, and Tom York does finally scan ahead. He goes up onto the high ground and Spiffy. I'm sorry, sir. You're building Marauders. You're building siege tanks. You're technically making the right decisions right now. But these Marines with Stim and a little bit of Sutter Step are going to kill off that third orbital command. And that fourth orbital, that fourth, fourth command center was never finished as the star port goes down. Tom York with 187 supply to the 91 supply of Spiffy who tries desperately with those medevacs to land on the sieged up tanks. But there are Marines rallied from behind as we look off. Across the map, there is just a long green line going down to kill the long blue line. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. GG is thrown out by OG Spiffy. Congratulations to Tommy York on putting his team up 3-1. to one. Stick around, because the next match could be our last. Northern Arizona University can take this by winning four. Is a best of seven. Or will Pomona pull themselves back into it and force it into a semi-ace match. <laughs>